Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Um, today I'm doing another energy forecast. I wasn't uh, planning on doing an energy forecast because I did uh, one last week which was supposed to cover the energies for the rest of November 2018. However, um, there's some new uh, insights that have come to light which I thought I would share with you anyway. And this is relevant for this week. Um, as well as uh, next week and the week after. So, well, it's three weeks uh, from around the 20th of November till about the first week of December or so. And so one of the things that was quite uh, clear to me is that this week, these weeks here, especially the next two weeks, are not going to be as uh, turbulent as a couple of weeks that we've just come from. And it's going to be a much easier week. But at the same time, that's in terms of external influences upon one's life. However, at the same time, a lot of what uh, the collective will be experiencing is a sort of restlessness within one's own psyche, one's own mind, an inability to ground oneself, an inability to stay within oneself. You might find yourself bouncing off the walls even without having had a coffee. So um, I've made a couple of notes uh, as I, I'm not channeling this, I channeled this earlier, and so I'm just going to refer to my notes. So it's about grounding ourselves. The first point is really coming to terms with ourselves and constantly grounding ourselves, constantly bringing ourselves back to basics, constantly rethinking and checking before moving ahead with anything. So you may ha have a feeling of impulsiveness. You want to go ahead and just do things. And the recommendation is for you to constantly check constantly rethink, constantly revisit before you put it out there. And that um, may be, um, you know, attributed to uh, the Mercury, Mercury being in retrograde or something like this. But I feel that it's much bigger than that. It encompasses many areas of your life. It encompasses uh, how you speak to people, how you interact with each other on a social level, uh, with regard to action that you may take with regard to travel that you may embark upon. It covers all areas of your life, okay? And this is something that is, uh, it's like you're gonna be pushed really hard to do something, to take action, but you need to really uh, think about that very carefully because you may uh, put a foot in your mouth, okay? So you may uh, find that the action that you've taken works against you as a result of that. Uh, as a result of not thinking, uh, that is. So um, th the other advice with regard to grounding oneself is not getting caught up in what's going on around you. Stay centered and stay grounded. That is the first point um, that we are still discussing. And the way in which to do that is to constantly go back to oneself. Yeah, and there may be some chaotic things going on around you or that you may come encounter people who are in a funk or in some kind of emotional turbulence, but don't get caught up with it. Stay within yourself. Constantly return to yourself. Um, you may also feel that there are some strange energies or things that you can't put a finger on, but once again, go back to yourself and stay with yourself. Constantly ground yourself. Uh, even if you find that your emotions are also all over the place, constantly bring yourself back home to a place of peace, and calm within yourself, okay? So this is the um, the first point with regard to this week's energies. The second point is that there is a sense of duplicity, yeah? The, the advice to you is to take a second look at things. Take a second look at things because what you might find is that you understand something in a particular light, but there's another reality to it. There's another truth to it, okay? And that could slip could slip by you and you might not recognize that but it's really important in terms of being able to understand all the details that you take a second look at things so that you understand the other side of it you understand what's not being said about a particular situation about somebody about a project you understand the the the, the other aspect that's not as uh, stark or that's not in the spotlight all right. And um, it's important to note that. It's important to note the duplicity within a situ situation or whether it comes from people as well. And this is something that you're going to be called, to, going to be drawn to uh, during this week and especially next week. So 
in the third week the energy shifts again but I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment um, yeah it's basically that you may see something in a particular light but there's more to it and it's uh, that is that is what you asked to look at so um, yeah I mentioned already that you may need you may be called to take action quite um, quite quickly you may be feeling very impulsive you might want to run ahead and do something but you need to ground yourself only when you're grounded and not in this impulse will you be able to achieve what you want uh, and would you, you would be able to actually uh, create what it is that you're looking for if you go ahead and ride this with this impulse of feeling you're going to find that you're going to be back at square one you're going to need to start over again and uh, it may work against you it just may not have the impact that you were hoping it would have so don't just rush into things okay um, yeah the next point is that the next couple of weeks especially the next two weeks are focused on finishing things are focused on bringing closure to things so there may be some things that are lingering around for some time maybe a, a, a letter that needs to be written maybe a book that needs to be finished perhaps a project that needs to be finished, perhaps there's something around your, your home. For different people, this will be in different areas of your life. But it, it's asking, the energy of the next two weeks is asking you to go in there and get rid of those things. Because what's coming up in December, what's coming up in the, in, in the weeks thereafter, is a whole new energy. It's like a flood of whole new energy. It's asking you to clear out what you don't need for what's to come. So instead of taking action on and making new beginnings or creating new beginnings in your life, rather take action on things that need to be finished and need to be put to rest. And there is a lot of that, that I'm hearing there's a lot of that, just things that are lingering around, things that need to be done. Go back and finish it up now, okay? Um, as we hit December, we yeah, we're going to have a whole new flow of energy that's going to take us in a in a different direction and that's a much lighter energy and that's a much clearer energy and um yeah it won't be the somberness that you experience um or the somber note rather that you experience now at the end of november you know the, these energies that we're experiencing at the end of november have a lot to do with uh what we've been experiencing from the end of march you know, it's it's a culmination of the last six months of this energy, and we are going into something new uh, come December, and then January also takes us in a very different direction. So, and it, it brings us our focus on something completely different. So now is the time to finish up old things, to be able to put things behind us and clear our deck, to clear our table, to be able able to invite new energies and. Um, to be able to put our focus elsewhere for December and then again in January. Um, those things that we don't work with now are going to revisit us around the third week of December and again around the end of February. So uh, when they visit us, when I, what I was hearing earlier and what I'm hearing right now is that they'll visit us in December with a little smack, you know, just to say, hey, there's a reminder you needed to have done this, but you're not going to have the time to be able to focus on it really. And if you don't, then by the end of February, when it comes back again, it's going to bite you. And so this is going to be something that you will regret. By the end of February, though, you would have actually dealt with this and worked with a lot of this. Uh, but the best time to finish this is actually now in these next two weeks. Right. So the last so, point is not for everyone, but if you know that you've been working on yourself, if you know that you've been working towards establishing the highest good in your life, if you've been in a space of peace and you've been doing uh, things uh, in accordance with the flow of the universe and uh, you have not been resisting but you've been going with it, then you will feel like you've had enough of a certain situation or a person. And I feel this has got to do a lot with people. It's like you're going to be reevaluating your relationships. Somebody that you might have been happy to have around for the last few months or the last two years or so. This may be a friend, it may be a client, it might be a lover, it might be a boyfriend, it might be a family member, it might be your spouse. Um, this person, you might find that you, you just had enough of this person and you're just really tired of, 
of the situation and you've had enough of it and you 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 might feel repulsed by by a certain person or you you just had enough of this energy for a while and i think that has got a lot to do with these people's energy not moving as fast as yours has been because you've been growing quite uh, extensively in the last um few months and not everyone has been able to uh, grow as fast as you have been growing and uh, being and able to change as fast as you are so you're going to feel a little bit of impatience with those who you deem to be still in that old space okay because you have shifted so many paradigms uh, since then and uh, yeah you might have um, um, an intolerance for them so to say however this is not going to last this is just something that you'll feel in the next few weeks and I think you when you uh, look at them again or you look at the particular situation again although I do feel this is really uh, has to do with people um, you will find that you yeah you have more of a tolerance and an understanding and a compassion for them it's just that right now you may not feel that yeah so that was actually a uh, basically all that I needed to say to you today uh, yeah you need to ground yourself you need not to act uh, with impulse but to rethink what you need to do you need to uh, also uh, finish things or bring to completion certain things that have been lingering for a long time and that uh, nag you and uh, you may find that you are a little bit intolerant of certain energies around you uh, in the next few weeks so that's all for now and I hope that this helps you and um, if this does resonate with you then do let me know in the comment section. This uh, energy forecast is not, um, not everyone is feeling exactly this but I think that this one is uh, more comprehensive or uh, it really uh, speaks to the collective more than, um, the, than the others do. Uh, okay, well thank you very much and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.